Pikmin CSS is MUI's new zero runtime CSS and JS library that pre-compiles at build time, making it compatible with React Serpent components and providing you with significant performance improvements over other styling engines. It can be used with any React component library, is compatible with Vite and the Next.js app router, supports theming, styled components, the object and template syntax, and way more. So let's take a look at it. Let's start by installing Pikmin CSS in the Next.js plugin on a new project. I'm using Next.js, but you can also use Vite. Next, head over to your config file and import the with Pikmin plugin. If you're using Next.js, your config file should look like this. Finally, we'll import the Pikmin CSS style sheet in our layout or main file. Now that we're all set up, we can start styling. Let's look at some of the Pikmin CSS basics. To create reusable styles, we'll use the CSS API. You can do this either with the template or object syntax. Let's create a simple class that defines the background color and the text color. And that's it. Creating CSS classes is pretty straightforward. So now let's take a look at creating style components. To create style components, we'll use the styled API. Let's create and return a simple header div to illustrate this. You can add different styling options based on the props passed to your component by defining variants. Let's see a couple examples. Here, we're simply assigning variants for the font color based on different message types. When passing the arguments, this is what it looks like. Additionally, you can use a special SX prop which lets you apply styles directly to any element. When using the SX prop, Pikmin CSS will replace it with class name and style props at build time. And this works on any element, including HTML elements and third party custom components, as long as it's JSX. Finally, if you want to create global styles, use the global CSS API. Now, Pikmin CSS gives you the option for theming, which lets you reuse styles and values across your application. You can also set different values for your themes depending on different conditions, such as switching from dark to light mode. And to use this, we'll use the extend theme utility with a special color schemes key. Let's apply our theme to our HTML, and here we'll use the preferred color scheme media query to change from light to dark mode depending on the user settings. If you want to control the color scheme based on application logic, like when clicking on a light mode, dark mode toggle, you can do this too by customizing the behavior through a get selector function. And that's it. We've covered the basics on how to set up and get started with Pikmin CSS. For more information and usage, check out our documentation and let us know what you think.